GPYF. GPYF, you pastors and you directors, please report to the volunteers group. For him up at this youth fellowship, you pastors and you directors, please come to the volunteers group. GBYF, you pastors and you directors, please come to the leaders group. GBYF, you pastors and you directors, you are requested to come to the leaders group. Pastors and you directors, you are requested to come to the volunteers group. Thank you. Billy Graham, popular, one most popular uh, quote, uh, quotation by Billy Graham, 
which says, when wealth is lost, nothing is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. When character is lost, all is lost. And these words of Billy Graham say a lot. Spiritually and morally speaking, we are living in a compromising and elusive world where integrity is very hard to find. Today, as leaders and father and man, as we gather here, let us ponder upon this quotation. Which of these is the most important important things, important thing in your life? Wealth, health, or your moral integrity? Let's look at election, elections, or election, for example. Election is just nearby at our doorstep. Election is a time when we face the real test, the real test of our integrity. And for many people, we have seen how suddenly they change their, their attitudes. So that's the way we really look at our life. 
and then our friend has spoken uh, very, you know, very important points. He has touched many points, which is very true in our life. Um, I, I was, the moment I was given time to speak, I was tempted to speak on some of the topics like this, men and family. Men and election, clean election. I was also tempted to speak on men and social issues, or men and money, or men and media. I have also called some of my friends to just ask them, probably if I have to speak, if you were to speak, what topic would you speak? A number of them has really pointed out this uh, points to me and then I've been thinking about it but I've been given 20 minutes and I didn't want to touch many other topics I just wanted to focus on one single small topic and then we will just concentrate on that so that I think at the end of the meeting there should be some kind of commitment Jubilee should have some commitment and I thought I will rather uh, avoid this very important, very exciting topics and then go to one single topic in the list. We are, are the men. That's the topic I want to talk today. Mutavandu Kutasi. That's the topic. And then Genesis chapter 3, verse 9 talks about God asking the Lord God called to the man. The Lord God called to Adam, where are you? Where are you? To begin this thing, we tell you a story. Mikey Muta Charibuli Ulaishi Wishi. Probably Mutabra Mutu Habrabi Hubari. Olivi Mikey Muta Charibuli Ulaishi. Our family can soup, Jama Rana, soup, Ata, Ata, Pat, Kuribo, in the other thing, Utah, Ata, Ata, Saman, and soup. To Ata, Ata, Saman, Pat, Kurana, Pacha, do it, Tayasi. Do it, Kinia, or not, Pat, Kuribo, when a discussion to Luyasi. Do you learn a tin, poor Kutakasi, to Brave, to Lukasi, my given, Kutabravi, and you can last the family members come from the music. I, in the other way. Do you room the bar jabi? Room the bar jai gana kuthau kobi. Aro kono lobo ido do you bar jai decide kobi. Ame gan ido family gan bar lobo ina kobi. Do you jai kobi? Jai gana ahi si. Ahi gana motha bar kara gana. Ame do you niga decision do si. Divorce to achi no kobi. Ek saal paso ti kobi. You don't have the Aru Pacha Ekta, Higanai, Ata, 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 Every jubilee or milestone is an occasion to look back and then forward. Look back and then with a grateful heart, with thousands of gratitude for all the beautiful things God has done for each and every one of us. Everyone in Nagaland, everyone in Nagaland is impacted by Christianity in one way or the other, unlike other cultures. Because for us, it was only because of the gospel that we are what we are today. So as we celebrate 150 years, it is a great time for us to for Almighty God. That is one. But we have to look forward to the future with the renewed strength, with renewed zeal, and then probably with renewed 
strength and then vision because there are challenging ministries ahead of us in a time like this we are are the men where are the men where are the men put harai show 150 years ago i am began to be a pastor for the last 25 years according to my observations and according to my analysis there is a very alarming decline of men church attendance that's how i observe that's my church and that may be your church alarming decline of men's attendance in the church as the way we used to see them just maybe 10 15 years back and in the next 15 20 years back uh, challenge as we celebrate 150 years today the last 20 years were more we were talking about women's empowerment the church the government all the NGOs were talking about women's empowerment in the church in the society in all aspects today 2022 we have to talk about men's empowerment in the church in the society probably in all competitive exams in class 10 class 12 or other you know competitive exams it is the women who are taking everything on top and where are the men not only in the church but in all leadership uh, positions it is the women we are not against women but where are the men where are the men as we talk about you know this going forward today there are fewer men in our Naka churches today and if I am given the opportunity to propose SQC resolutions I think one of the SQC resolutions should be we all of us are part of it all of us are part of it We'll continue the first story. Mikey Mutado. Exhale, Hariana Pajado Paisibiji. Olivia Twins Paisibiji. Do you hear me? I can't hear you. For many, many years, knowingly or unintentionally, we have neglected men. And 150 years now, we are realizing that actually it is the church who also has made a huge mistake. And until and unless we intentionally come up with some kind of probably a prominent ministry towards look at me my father will always go to church regularly like most of your fathers and then he will take us to the church with him but my generation doesn't go as much as my fathers so if my father for example, in 100 percent, if my father used to go to church 80 percent, then my generation, our generation, could do church only 40 percent. Then 40 percent, you know, church course children will go only probably 20 percent, and this 20 percent church course children will probably go only 10. And in the next 30 40 years time we will see a huge change in our 
church, and then in our ministry. For women, ever since the women program started, there has been women's ministry, women's conference, women's Bible study, women retreat. Oh, omnipresent. Everywhere, in all ministry. And then women's prayer group, this is that group, this is that. And then for men, we did not have any program. If we thought we had one program for Dan tu je, kita kita.
the rules of the Kenta out there.
them to feel included and valued by God and people. Even considering their place and convenience in program designing and building structures. Eight, to actively participate in the task of creation care, taking our duty and privilege as custodians of the earth seriously, and working towards retaining her original state of goodness. Nine, to stand firm and be true to our commitment as responsible citizens of the land and as agents of the kingdom of God by speaking the truth in love and by playing a proactive role on issues of Christian social responsibility. 10. To work for greater unity and better understanding among various groups of people through cessation of selfish pursuits and conflicts that divide and damage the historical harmony of the Nagas. To this end, we affirm our shared oneness and resolve to stand in the gate in our collective search for political solution that is non-violent, just and honorable. As an indication of your approval and acceptance of this covenant that we have entered into, may I ask the congregation to show your hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless all of us.
and baptize them. Later, as they gathered around the communion table to partake of their first communion, this man, this mind man, as a recorder, cried out of great joy.
And you will, I request you to do that, please. I'm sorry to trouble you. But that's the point to do this. The Council General Secretary, the functionaries, the President of the Council, the members, and the only executive secretaries of our associations. Thank you for doing that. We have to request all the executive secretaries of our office if you can join. Thank you, thank you. These are the black home people of the Council of the Nagaland Baptist Churches. Celebrating the faithfulness of God during the past 150 years of Christianity in Nagaland. I strongly say that I want to request all of us to stay more united and make a deeper commitment for a greater work of God. Make a commitment to a closer and a deeper relationship with God. Reading the word of God by God more than ever before. More prayer on our knees. Doing more good social work and doing mission, giving the message that we have received to other people. They're letting God 